So we've worked, um, I've, I've worked very hard to get the, the ratio on, on the uh, protein sport. So we look to get 15 grams of protein per pack, which is, uh, would you agree, is, is a good level of intake for a, a player or post post Absolutely, post I think, yeah, our recovery drinks contain about 20 grams of protein. I think there is some suggestion, although it's, 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 um, it's not been completely confirmed, but that uh, 20 grams is pretty good from a recovery point of view. Um, 40 grams doesn't offer any more than 20 grams. Um, 20 offers more than 10, so somewhere around about 15 to 20 is about spot on. That's interesting because we've noticed a lot of bars on the market, some of them go up to 40, even 50 grams of protein. Sure. I mean, can the body even absorb that amount? Well, again, there is a suggestion if you overload the body with protein, the muscle effectively says, uh-uh, stop, I've had enough. So uh, um, I think pulses of um, small amounts of protein uh, are effective. Uh, large uh, boluses, as we call them, or large amounts of protein, mm. perhaps less effective. So, uh, yeah, when we're looking for a bar to, do, to, to, be, to be functional, I think, yeah, 15 to 20 grams is spot on with the other nutrients which are also useful for us. I think the other thing to point, about, point out about the product is you're using good quality baseline ingredients which again is very important to, that's, to us. That's, that kind of highlights the concept of our company that we, we believe in whole food nutrition. We use very very high levels of nutrients in the products. We use um, good ingredients so we've, we've got peanuts, we've got maple syrup, of course maple syrup contains other minerals um, we use good fats from cocoa butter, uh, coconut oil contains medium chain triglycerides. The, the good quality nutrients in that, in that product support the real, really good, real foods that we offer um, in our restaurant. And I, th I think that um, we don't shy away from fat with regards to our players, but we do focus on specific fats. Um, food is cooked in specific fats and yes they are similar in uh, composition to the fats that you're using within your product. So. so it'd be interesting to sort of understand what happens to the product. I mean are they just available for players to help themselves to or are they given an allowance per week? <laughs> uh, uh, you, can, you can't tell football players what to do and quite rightly so that they're, they're adults and uh, should be treated as such. I think uh, there are specific times where this product will be useful and we will offer um, our players access to those, those products as and when they're useful. Now, if a player wants to take some home and use them um, as a snack product, of course, that would be okay by us and with a certain amount of education. But uh, typically this will be used um, post-session um, with our academy guys. They train twice a day uh, regularly. Um, after the second session of the day, there isn't a meal provided. So a recovery product like this would be particularly useful then. Um, we're traveling to um, a pre-season training camp in the summer. Uh, we train twice a day there with our first team players. Again, products like this will be available for the guys to snack on to, uh, yes, enhance recovery, but also to supply some of the nutrients that are required for the following day. So something like this will be used across the board.